and hello my amazing social media and wherever you're watching this basically because I post it everywhere so hello everybody so today's topic right I really wanted to speak about because I've been asked it a few times since launching my business and I've kind of given a bit of a base to it in terms of why I do what I do why I pick what I pick why I sort of cost what I cost and like and I thought you know what I just need to make like a dedicated video to it rather than it being mingled in with like a Q&A or just other business videos that I do so the main question I get asked right is why are you so expensive why is your brand so expensive and let me just say it's not intentional it's not intentional it, it's not what I intended at all However, what I am going to say is, I know my worth, and I know my brand's worth, and that's probably the big main, just put it in bold, bright letters, that I want to say to everybody is, I know the worth of it. And there is method into why everything costs, what it does, you know, it, it's, I, I'm basically, let's just, let's just rewind it back, what I sell is luxury hosiery it's not just anything you can get from primark and new look or any other high street store we can pick it up for like a pound or two and it isn't like walford and girardi and all those other like really expensive brands that i love and they are amazing quality i am that in between and there is a lot of hosiery companies that sit nicely in the in between um, whether it is more on the cheaper side, kind of like a bit more affordable, you've kind of got more sort of middle range to go into luxe. I'm in this. And it is that because, because I just want to bring the best quality product to you guys. I, I love, you know what it is? I love hosiery. I've loved it for so many years. And I love what my brand stands for. I, I love it. I love the styles I pick. I, I just love everything about it. I'm very, very passionate. <laughs> I'm just so passionate um, about it. And I just want to give you a bit of a breakdown. And I like doing this because, as I always say to everyone, I like to be as transparent as possible when it comes to my business and my brand. So starting off, the pairs that I get, right, they're all manufactured in Europe and they all come from Europe. So that alone is going to be a bit of a markup. And the thing is, because I don't buy in tens of thousands, 50,000s, 100,000s, which make, you know, which might make the unit slightly cheaper in comparison to me buying in 100s, 500s, it, that plays a huge part. So my unit price already is quite high. Okay, so I've got that to work with. Okay, that's, that's the beginning. The second part is because it is coming from Europe, and it is that whole thing i can't just buy little by little because if i'm buying say less than 100 pieces i am paying so much more okay so i have to kind of go at least minimum 100 plus because of that i then get hit with custom charges like we've got custom duty charges that we've got to pay you've got to it's it's ridiculous how much it can cost depending on the value of it weights and everything it, it, it's just you know what it's ridiculous so that's I, you know what actually i can't even say that's factored into my cost so i was going to tell a bit of a lie there and say it was it actually isn't so all the actual fees and charges i get hit with to bring my stock into the uk is actually not costed into the product price that that's just off my own back okay that's that then the whole process of I quality check and hand pack every single piece. So I'm buying obviously all my packaging. I'm li all you know those little wonky stickers that you might see on packaging sometimes. That's me. <laughs> that's me. I try and make it as straight as possible, but that's me. I quality check everything. I hand pack everything. You know, in terms of putting all the stickers on, folding up all my packaging, making sure everything looks okay, all the handwritten notes. Um, you know, packaging up everything, um, getting it ready for it, for it to be sent out, and all those, I, do you know what, it's, you're not only paying for the product, you're paying for the time as well. Now, 
The thing about the business is I don't take a wage from it. So I actually have a part-time job that I work for that is basically I get a salary from. Anything that is made from the business, I pump back into my brand and my business in terms of stock, if I need to just buy more stickers, you know, if I need to buy all the little things that go into your package, it, it, that is all reinvested. I actually don't take a wage from my business because I'm always just pumping it back in. So it is, the cost is high because it is, I'm having to source everything. I'm having to pay for bits out of my own pocket still. Um, you know, and it is just getting getting the styles that I want and obviously, you know, having to try and haggle them down every time in terms of cost per unit just so they can send it over to me and, you know, I don't have to charge a ridiculous amount. And even then, because in Europe, the prices fluctuate, which means, you know, what I pay my, um, what, what I pay my manufacturer changes. It's never a set rate. What I paid last month for stock could be so much cheaper than what I pay this year, uh, this year, this month, and vice versa. It could be cheaper this month and it was super, super expensive last month. It always, always fluctuates. So because of all those kind of variants and all those little bits, that's what goes into the price of the of the tights that I sell, of all the hosiery that I sell, and just all the products that I sell, basically. Um, yeah, it, it is just, it's time, effort, it's my blood, sweat and tears trying to get it all. And then just along the lines of, why does everything cost so much? There's also obviously been a question about the shipping. So this is something, I know it sucks. It, it sucks for me too. It's, I don't like charging so much for shipping. But what I've tried to do to make it easy for everybody is to do flat rates. So it is, um... If you purchase underneath four items, it will be a flat rate of such and such. And obviously it kind of varies depending on where in the world. Um, and if you go over four items, it will be such and such. And one thing I do say to a lot of my buyers is if you're going to bulk buy, you're actually kind of getting it a lot cheaper. So, okay, so prime example is, so I've had a couple of buyers where they've bought between 10 to 15 pairs in one go. They're technically just paying one flat fee so call that flat fee 20 pound okay so call it like over four items it's 20 pound it costs my buyer 20 pound however i get charged about 30 for it so it is one of those and i'm happy to pay for it at the end of the day because you're buying such a huge amount i'm not going to make you pay extra when you've already paid that set fee um for it so it is just i try and do what i can where i can but it doesn't help the fact that because the service that i use um the courier service that i use they raise their prices every year and especially if i'm sending abroad yeah they get very they can get quite pricey i do understand and i know some people are like yeah but i just wanted one pair and i've got to pay so much for shipping do you know what? I know, I know, and I am sorry, and I apologize, but I always say just make the most of it. And in terms of maybe, I know, I know it tries, I know it sounds like I'm trying to sell like four products now, but I see it as make your make it worthwhile. If you're going to be spending that much on shipping, make it worthwhile. And I will say, have a proper good look through my social media because I tend to post the same thing over my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram is the main platform, but on Instagram, even on LinkedIn, just so you can see the feedback and the reviews, and you know, because I, I screenshot the feedback, just so people can see the fact that I'm not writing this, like people are actually sending me this across with their photos and all their leg fees. So have a look at the feedback and see what people are saying. And it is a whole mix of people who are, who are a smaller size, people who are like double XL, triple XL, it is, it's worth reading through if you are unsure. There's also a sizing guide. And not only that, I am available as well. I'll try and be as responsive as I can um, just to help you pick um, pairs that would suit your size or near, near enough as well. So it is just, there are ways where you you just, you can just, I don't know, help yourself with the, with the shipping in that way. But yeah, so I... I I apologize for the shipping part, but I'm not going to say sorry about my products being luxury, about my products being 
amazing and I can happily say that because I test every single one before I ever launch anything just to make sure is this what I want is is this you know would this make my customer happy how would they feel how does it make me feel you know and I go through a whole rigorous process just to make sure what I bring to the table in terms of my business my brand it is you're getting lux you're getting something that is you know it is gonna last you a while you know a long time about to say a while a long time but let's say a long time um as long as you take care of them um so yeah so it is just i understand how it might seem to you guys who are purchasing but i also know the value and the worth behind it all as well so i hope you guys understand and i really don't want to seem like oh you know but she's making excuses da, da, da. it's nothing like that i just want to show you how transparent it all is how stressful it could be purchasing them and getting them off my manufacturer um in europe but yeah just uh, yeah this video is just kind of just to get people to understand where i'm coming from and my pricing more than anything okay well that was a little bit frustrating because my video just completely cut out on me and yeah, so never mind. I'm now going to stitch this thing together. I hate doing that. I just prefer to just do one video and that's it. Um, but yeah, so just I hope this video kind of sums it up for you guys. And yeah, just just please believe in my product. Just that's all I say is please believe in my product and just know the fact that it is worth it. I mean, I wouldn't be saying it if it isn't. I wouldn't sell you a dream and give you something dud at the end of it, to be fair. So yeah, just otherwise for everybody else, um, thank you so much for supporting my brand and especially to my regular customers who buy everything when it's newly launched as well. It, it means the world to me. And you're not know, understanding about the shipping costs as well because I know they're like an absolute pain. But thank you and thank you so much for watching everyone as well. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I will see you all soon. Bye.